Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we are going to be looking at some upcoming cartel market items for patch 5.4. Now remember patch 5.4 is hitting August 22nd meaning we'll probably get a new cartel pack and just two quick disclaimers before we begin the video. Uh, the first one is this is an incomplete list unfortunately we don't really have any images for the mounts however uh, we do have like some of the armor sets the weapons that will be coming and the second quick disclaimer is that we don't really know if this is all coming in one cartel pack or if we spread across numerous cartel packs because right now we've actually data mined two new cartel packs. We have their names and stuff. I actually forget them, unfortunately. But, um, but the point is that we don't really know if all of these items will be in the same pack or if they will be spread across different packs. We'll probably get an updated list closer to the date of the patch. But uh, for now, this is what we have, so we'll quickly talk about this. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not too impressed, honestly. So don't get your hopes up for this pack. That's just what I want to say right off the bat. Uh, there's only a few items in here that I actually like. But let's get into it, and you guys can make up your minds for yourselves. So the first armor set here is called the Shika Walken Royalties armor set. Now, this one is probably going to be gold. Um, if you don't know, this is actually from already produced lore. So Shikawaka is an actual planet. It sounds really weird, but it's an actual planet. Um, and uh, there's already like characters that were made. I'll show you guys some images from the comic books and you can see that this armor set is very, very almost identical to the armor set worn by this character, especially the helmet. And it seems as though the helmet is specially made for Twi'leks. So obviously any character is going to be able to use it from any species, but a Twi'lek would probably look the best in it. Um, and in terms of the armor set itself, I mean, the only thing that really sticks out is the helmet. The upper body armor looks rather generic. Uh, I mean, like, I feel as though it's, it's nothing too special about it. Uh, some of the gold plating might be nice, uh, you know, but it's not as nice as other armor sets like the Emperor Mantle's armor set or the, you know, Ruthless Scion, which also has plating and stuff. So all in all, it's okay. I do think it will be gold. Who knows? It might be silver, but I would say 95% is going to be a gold armor set. The second armor set here is called the Keeper of Iocath's armor set. This one is also most likely going to be gold. Uh, it's rather nice, although the upper body armor is kind of similar to the Fearsome Harbinger, just with a different color scheme. I say kind of similar. Uh, all in all, it's a rather nice armor set. The helmet, and that's one thing I like, at least it's not a reskin, right? And as I said before in previous videos, that's something we should kind of be happy about, even if the design doesn't particularly appeal to uh, me in general. I mean, you guys probably differ, right? Some of you guys are going to find these armor sets nice. But it's just my opinion that it, you know, it doesn't really stick out to me as a really nice armor set. But either way, it's unique, right? We haven't really seen a helmet like that before, or at least I haven't. Maybe, um, maybe there's one that kind of resembles it. But anyways, all in all, that's kind of a nice armor set as well. It's probably going to be gold. Um, the third armor set here is the Diligent Engineer. Now, this one I think is going to be silver. Uh, the helmet is uh, doesn't doesn't appeal to me at all, but the upper body armor looks actually rather nice. I don't mind that design. It looks very different and unique. And if it's silver especially, that's going to be very affordable and kind of a really nice upper body armor for anyone who's on a budget. So all in all, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about those. I mean, there's really nothing more to say. Uh, they're pretty nice armor sets in general, so uh, they're okay. They're just in kind of impress me as much as some of the other armor sets have in the past you know we've had really nice armor sets like the enigmatic hero uh what, we, what did we get in the recent cartel pack we got the um expert outlaw for example that was a really really nice armor set that i initially didn't think was a very nice armor set but when you actually saw it in game the upper body armor looked phenomenal so we had some pretty nice armor sets there and we'll probably have to see these in game to make a proper impression about them but those are what we have for now Going on to the weapons, now these, now I know, I mentioned at the start of this video, there are only a few items that appeal to me, it's the weapons guys, I really like them, and they're, they're unique, they're not going to appeal to everyone, some people are going to find them useless or ugly or whatever, I just really like them. The first one we have here is the Barriars MK3 Electro Blade. Now for those of you who don't know, there's a difference between Vibro Blades and Electro Blades. So Vibro Blades are things like the classic Vibro Sword, um, the uh, Merciless Raiders Vibro Sword, those are actual swords, right? And they look really nice. But Electro Blades, I do believe, are very small. If you go on the GTN right now and search up Electro Blade, you might actually find a few on the GTN that are crafted by people. And what you'll notice about all of them is they're very small, they're like daggers. And that's what you can also see in this image. I don't think this is just a shortened version of the sword. It is indeed a small weapon like this, like a dagger. And while that will look really weird on a juggernaut or someone like who's decked out in a really nice armor set and has this really small blade, uh, it's going to look pretty awesome for Marauders because, you know, as an offhand weapon, it's going to be really nice. But also just in general, I mean, that's just a nice weapon to have. Even if, even if you don't use it as kind of your main weapon, I just feel as though there's some role-playing opportunities and stuff there that, um, that kind of makes this a really nice weapon. 
And then also, I also really like the Electroblade here. So this is the Electroblade version. And it's really unique just in the sense that the hilt is so big and the blades are really small just at the edge. And once again, it's a really weird design. And, it's, and a lot of people are going to look at this and go, I hate that. Like people hated also the Merciless Raiders Vibra Sword. That was from the Revenge Packs. And the reason people didn't like them was because it has a laser sight. And people didn't quite understand what the use was of putting a laser sight on a sword. But it, it was going, going off of a Mandalorian theme. The entire pack was. And I just thought that was a super Mandalorian thing to do. Put a laser sight on a blade. And I absolutely loved those weapons. And so, I don't know, this is kind of what, uh, this is kind of my thing. That's what I really like. And so I'm really excited for those weapons. They're most likely going to be silver as well. And um, I'm definitely going to, you know, use those, unlock those, and probably use them during, you know, I'm role-playing during the story and stuff. It's going to be pretty awesome. And then the rifles are pretty decent as well. We have the MK3 rifle here. This one's going to be, you know, for Imperial agents and stuff. Uh, very nice, uh, going off of kind of an AK-47 type theme. But it's just so nice and unique. And let me know if you uh, differ on, on this, but I think these are very pirate themed as well. Like These would have been perfect for like the Rishi expansion or something. That's what I thought initially, right off the bat when I saw these. Like This was something you would probably think about getting during the Rishi expansion. It uh, looks like something um, that pirates would have. But anyways, that's the rifle. We also have the sniper rifle here, which is just kind of an elongated version of the rifle, which is what they always do. It also has that stock at the back there. And then we have the uh, assault cannon here, which I'm not too crazy about. Uh, it kind of looks like an upside down rifle. Uh, I just think with the last assault cannon we had was really nice. So this one kind of is undershadowed by the other one. But we have the pistol here and the pistol here, I think knocks the rest out of the park. Like I think the electro blades are the best and the pistol is definitely a third place. Uh, it's really nice. I can definitely see a lot of people really enjoying that design. Super nice. So all in all guys, the weapons are what I really enjoy. The armor sets were okay. In terms of mounts, unfortunately we don't have images, but we know we're getting a voracious Womp Rat, which is probably going to be a silver Womp Rat that's going to be silver rarity. We have a Swamp Slybex. I can put up some images I find on Google Images of these. You can get a sense of how it's going to look kind of. That's kind of a new, um, I think that's a new mount. We have the Churka Bobber, which is no doubt going to be a terrible looking mount because the other Churkas and Vectrons that they've come up with have just absolutely sucked. I mean, they have very few designs that were actually nice. And then we have the Obsidian Mantor. This one's also most likely going to be gold. And this one is um, a, new, uh, um, a new beast as well. And it's probably got something to do with Umbara. I believe uh, it was also data mined that those are going to be, you know, NPC things in the jungle and stuff. So, you know, they, whenever they introduce a new planet with jungles, they always have these random beasts running around that you can kill. And a Mantor is one of them. So I guess we can have it as a mount as well. And then going on to some of the miscellaneous items, we have the Indigo Fog Weapon Tuning. Now, just recently, I believe the last tuning they released was a um, Volatile Weapon Tuning, and that was just absolutely amazing. So this, once again, is kind of undershadowed by that. They're, they're doing a backwards trend to some of these just smoky things. I mean, it's going to be very similar to like the Light Attune and the Dark Attune Weapon Tuning, I think, unless it does something special than that, because those are also very similar in that they just have a nice little glow coming out the bottom of your hilt. I'm just assuming this is going to be a similar thing, but it's going to be purple instead of blue and red. Uh, but either way, I guess, we'll, once again, you can't really tell much from the image. You have to actually see it in game to make a proper opinion about that. We have a new regen, so this is not an emote, this is a regen. It's called Loosen Up, so it kind of looks like your character is going to do a bunch of stretches. Uh, I'm a big fan of these regens. Uh, they go for very cheap and affordable prices on the GTN, and they're just very nice items to have, especially for new players who come into the game and they realize that they have all this cool stuff that's very accessible for them. So it's just going to be a nice another regen that you can have. Uh, we're getting a new companion, the Banshee Handler License. So this is a Banshee. Once again, this is probably going to be a beast that you see on Umbara in the jungles and stuff. Uh, it looks kind of cool. I kind of like that tail sticking out the back. Uh, it basically looks it's like it's based off of the same design of the, um, what was that other thing called? Uh, it was called the Bog Stalker. I had to go search it up on Google. I totally forgot. Uh, so yeah, it looks like very similar to the Bog Stalker. It's the second companion we have that can actually fly and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Uh, so that's going to be nice. And then we have the Umbaran Purple Color Crystal. So it's going to be purple. Uh, we don't have very many purples in the game. Uh, we only have one pure purple, which is obviously very expensive and rare, even though it's silver rarity. But um, uh, this one's going to, hopefully it's going to be similar to that because then it'll actually be worth something and not just kind of a random crystal like they, um, like they always do. And we have two new pets coming. So we have the Swamp Slybax and the Indigo Mantor. So those are basically we're getting two uh, mounts that are the same as that and now we're just getting pets. So they're just going to be smaller versions of the mounts and instead of being a mount, they'll be a pet. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. And then we have also two new dyes that I'm not going to talk about because uh, in my opinion, dyes suck. Especially the recent dyes they've been releasing. I think they released only one dye that was actually decent. The rest were kind of crap that doesn't sell well on the GTN.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, I, you know, I, a lot of people comment on these types of videos, go, well, I, I totally disagree with you. And that's totally fine, guys. Disagree with me in the comment section. These are just my opinions on these items. And I try to get through it as fast as possible. I'm surprised that right now we're actually under the 10-minute mark. Usually these videos go up to like 17, 20 minutes. I wanted to keep this one short. I wanted to be more of an informative video where I just show off the images. I just say a few sentences about it, and then I move on. So it's kind of one of those quick videos where you get the information, and I don't just keep rambling on. So I'll end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you were excited as I am about those weapons. I think they're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let me know if you guys like the armor sets. I'm not too crazy about them, but at least they're different and not just normal reskins. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I said that about five times. I'll see you guys in the next one.